through the process of installing the Trello integration for Slack. So I thought it might be an interesting video for you to see how that's done. Inside of Slack's app directory, you've got a browse apps function. You can find the app that you want, the one that you're using. We're using Trello. You step through the various settings and you authenticate with Trello, which brings up the Trello requester in a pop-up box and I'm logged in as me. And then you select what Trello bo board you want information to come from. And then below it, you also have these notifications. So every time a board and list is made, every time any of the cards in that board and list are updated, or any time the checklists are created or ticked off, you can get an update over in Slack. Now, why is this useful? It's useful because it means you don't have to leave Slack or be distracted by emails or jumping into the browser and ending up with that distraction economy of being taken all around the web as you click onto other tabs and open Facebook. So what I've done is I've linked up Trello to this channel here called Working Trello. Every time I make something now in Trello, so here's my Trello board, if I create another project here or if I put another member in here, let's just put test member. As soon as I hit return, as long as I go back to Slack, you can see at the bottom here it says new card test member added to members. So why is this useful? This is useful that if you're working with a team, you can be working away in a different channel. And there you can see I've just archived the test member because I've removed it. You can be working in a way in another channel. For instance, I could be back in ground zero. If I add something in here, another test. What happens, you can see that on the left here, the working Trello is highlighted, bolded with a white text. That means there's a message waiting for me in there. If I jump over, you can see that. Now, why is this useful for teams? It's useful because you can assign jobs to other people to do, or you can find out when somebody's finished a job. And what it creates is a dialogue between the team members because you can see who's working on what asset, how far along it's got, if there's any updates, if there's any jobs that have been assigned to you. And it's incredibly useful because it just cuts down on the amount of email spam that you get of people saying I've updated this, I've updated that. And your productivity goes up because you're, you're in one central location. So check that out. This is a Trello integration with Slack.